Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel, donations, the Venmo, and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, I want to do a quick video. I told you guys a while, if you follow the channel, that Jesse Vargas, it looks like he's left top rank. He has um, his longtime manager, and now he's being advised by Al Heyman. He posted on his Instagram that he's back in action December 15th. Ivan Redcatch is going to be on the card also. And that's the latest scoop. So coming off of a pretty good-sized layoff, his last fight was against Pacquiao, I believe, in November of last year. Things have changed. You know what I mean? Top rank while he was with him up until recently. After the Pacquiao fight, basically, didn't give him any other fights that I remember. Right, so he hasn't fought since losing to Pacquiao, losing his title, and Pacquiao went on to lose to Jeff Horn, lose his title, but top rank didn't keep him active. So I guess he made the plunge, made the switch over to being advised by Al Heyman, which means he's probably going to have more dates on like premier boxing champs and stuff. And I want to know what you guys think. To me, I think it's a good look, and it's so funny because Oscar De La Hoya is releasing tweets saying, "Hey, hey." If I had Deontay Wilder, he'd be a star. And saying all this, but why are people like Brandon Rios was with top rank, couldn't get re-signed, and then they're going to Al Heyman? Or Jesse Vargas, I don't know what happened, but he was with top rank, and now he's going over to Al Heyman. Why is Mikey Garcia, he was fighting, it was like a it was like an ugly custody battle. Top rank finally releases him two and a half years later, and he's been working with the Al Heyman side. Golden Boy tries to sign him up for a Cotto fight, and... and Jorge Linares fight, none of the fights come off, and Mikey Garcia is likely going to fight Robert Easter Jr. next in, in February or so. So, you know what I mean? All the people that are talking about Al Heyman, oh, he's horrible. I mean, why are the fighters not feeling this way? Why is Jesse Vargas and Garcia and Rios and people from all walks of life and creeds and backgrounds still with Heyman or, or making the, the move to Heyman? You know what I'm saying? It's just, to me, it's, it's weird. And then you go to, like, you go to websites and then look in their forums and stuff. And, and when they write articles about stuff like Jesse Vargas going over, you see people in the comment section like, I can no longer support Jesse Vargas. And Vargas is stupid. He's not smart. Al Heyman ruined his career. Like, what are you talking about? Like, Jesse Vargas, I've interviewed him, talked to him. He's um, actually a commentator. He, well, he does commentator um, duties too on top of fighting he's been in the business for shit forever since he was signed with mayweather he had an amateur pedigree right was with top rank so i mean i'm pretty sure him and his uh his manager guadalupe or whatever have a game plan for what they feel is best for the next step of his career so you know what i mean i salute jesse vargas it is it, sometimes it's hard for change to make change but his attorney guadalupe valencia and him obviously decided that moving over to the Al Heyman side makes the most sense. And realistically, all the people who are saying that this doesn't make sense and it's stupid. I mean, listen to what you're saying. Why, how is Vargas not smart? When he's a welterweight, he plans on fighting at welterweight. And the person with the most welterweight fucking action is Al Heyman. Like, so... It really sounds like you sound stupid in, in, <laughs> more than Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas, I mean, Errol, there's Errol Spence Jr., Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Andre Berto, Omar Figueroa, right? Adrian Broner. Those are all great fights for Jesse Vargas. You know what I mean? Now, obviously, you could argue, does he deserve a title shot? Uh, versus Errol Spence next or whatever or coming off a loss and layoff. You know what I mean? That type of stuff. That's why I think he's he's coming back in December. But, I mean, he's still a name. I would love to see Amir Khan versus Jesse Vargas. Adrian Broner versus Jesse Vargas. You know what I mean? Hell, I might. we might even see Keith Thurman because Keith Thurman says he's not fighting a champion coming off of a long layoff. So, if Jesse Vargas handles business in December, shit, he might get a Keith Thurman fight. 
and a title shot. You know what I mean? Felix Diaz. Obviously, Terrence Crawford beat him, but Crawford's Crawford. Just because Crawford did it doesn't mean everyone's going to easily beat him. Luis Colazo, Jesse Vargas. I mean, for me, I think this is good. Brandon Rios. I don't. They're friends, so I don't know. If, I think they're friends, so I don't know if that would come off. Josecito Lopez and Jesse Vargas. I mean, there's a lot of fights on the Al Heyman side that I would like. So, to me, there's really more work. You know what I mean? We don't know. You, you already lost to Pacquiao. Crawford is likely to fight Jeff Horn. So, if he stayed over with top rank, what were his options? So, once again, new media. It's just like I do in the live show, The Hot Seat. That's my question. All the people in, in forums, boxing forums, and um, comment sections saying Jesse Vargas messed up. How? See, it's, it's evident that people just don't like, whether they're racist or whatever the situation, some people just don't like Al Heyman, so they don't want to give him credit for anything. You know what I mean? But I, I can't see how this is a dumb move. Vargas has been shelved with top rank. He's been with them for years. They're stable, especially for welterweight. I mean, who's he going to fight, Jeff Horn or Crawford? And then what? You know what I'm saying? And what if, what if one of them beats him? You know what I mean? At least with Al Heyman. Al Heyman kind of has this policy where... He has this policy where guys that even come off losses still get big, like Broner. Broner, he, Al Heyman will bring you back. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's the best way to put it. He'll bring you back. Like Julian J. Rock Williams, he got knocked out by Jamal Charlo. He said he was ready. He wasn't. Jamal Charlo knocked him out. But now he's fighting Ishe Smith. He already had a comeback fight. So Al Heyman will bring you back, and he has the stable to bring you back. You know what I mean? Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner lost to Sean Porter and then got a title shot with Khabib Alec Verdiev. You know what I'm saying? So, Al Heyman's so vast that even if Jesse Vargas were to take a loss, they have a lot of other people. Like, let's, see, let's say he fights Keith Thurman and loses a unanimous decision, right? He could fight one of the other guys I named. Amir Khan, Adrian Broner, uh, uh, anybody like that. Luis Colazzo, Josecito. Those are all good fights for him. So, to me, he actually made a smart move because the welterweights in that division, particularly and in, in, in general, in or around that division, is popping with Al Heyman. So, a lot of people are just going to hate. That's my two cents. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button, as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So, if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.